without permission. Ibn Haris. Let us see Ibn Haris. We have Ibn Haris. He is not answering. I am a Muslim, you answer. Hey man, I am a Muslim. When you are going to be online, oh, okay. Hello? Hello? I'm fine. So you are a Muslim, my friend? Yes, I am doubt doubter, actually. Muslim oh, okay. doubter. Yeah. Mm. I thought you were going to challenge me or something. No, no, no. I, I think nobody can win against you. <laughs> mm. What do you think about Islam then? <clears throat> it's confusing. Uh, I was watching now, right now, what you uh, uh, was deba debating with that uh, guy. What do you think about this guy? Is he being honest in for uh, for any, any way? Well, it's always like this, you know, Muslims, are they're trying to find, you know, find, find a reason. Um, even if they show, even if they, you show them, you know, like, hey, look, it says in the Quran, they always like to, to, to find something like, no, no, it doesn't mean like that. It's not like this, it meant like that. And, and then we show them, them from what, their, what their, uh, their books saying, I mean, the interpretation of their books. Still, they try yes, to, exactly. to, to, de to deny and to fabricate. It doesn't say that. So I, I could... Uh, uh, I was I was uh, watching the debate and and it says really that on the on one place it says that at at the end he he was he created the the sun and the other and another ayah it was something else. Yeah, because here it says in chapter seventy nine, <clears throat> Allah he finished the sky, he he created the sky, he he made everything in the sky, he made the day and the night. Mm -hmm. And then he may, uh, after he finished that, after that, he started working on the earth. Mm -hmm. But the first verse we give him, he, he witnessed, he said, that yes, it says, chapter 2, that the Allah, he created everything on earth. And then he started working in the sky, which means he did not go back to the earth to finish anything, because everything is created. Mm -hmm. So here it says the sun is created before he started even working in the earth. Even the Arabic is so clear, even the English saying, after that, after that, the earth spread and he made it flat, which is a stupid mistake to say. And what does that mean, he made, made the, the earth flat? Huh? What does that mean, he made the earth flat? Or... Because Muhammad, he believed the earth is a flat. <clears throat> Where's the proof of that? Well, the verse in front of you, and if we go into interpretation, it says that too. Let us go there, interpretation. Okay. Uh, 79, verse number 30. Okay. From who? Yeah, the, the scholars, all the dummies they have. <laughs> you know, not my fault. Right? Have you heard the interpretation? Okay, okay, I will ask you. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. This is a Jalalain. Mm -hmm. He made it very clear. Read carefully. Yeah. And after that, he spread out the earth and he made it flat. <clears throat> mm -hmm. For it had been created before the heaven. Read it carefully. Yeah. So here he agree that the earth is created before the heaven and but Allah <laughs> he start working in the earth again fixing the earth but remember what this guy he said to us he said he agreed with chapter 2 that the earth was created before the heaven and everything on earth is created before the heaven he said that here it um, says the opposite and why the Muslim scholars they are saying that? Because this is a stupid religion. Every chapter says something different story. Oh. And, you know, and, you, and you, here you ask yourself, how he can create the earth before he created space for it? Yeah, well, scientific. This is absolutely not scientific. Yeah, but don't you <clears throat> need a space for the earth to create the earth? <laughs> you know, which one is inside one? You know, is the space inside the earth is smaller than the earth or the earth is, is the, the earth is not even a dust. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I think like the Quran and the Hadith, they talk another language. Either sometimes I think, like I said, I'm a doubter, you know, um, sometimes I think, okay, point A, either they talk another language or point B is just false, it's just wrong. 
and it's so so hard to decide you know like my friend like, when a liar when a liar he, when a liar he make a lie he cannot repeat the same lies <laughs> twice correctly you know he forgot what he said but then i'm thinking christian prince then i'm thinking were the people at that time really so stupid i mean one of them must be who, there who, and come and say they are, and all the ones who question they get they got them killed there is people they question mm. they got them killed and then after that who they are to question the prophet that's it. He's God in this earth. The second I mean, you ask was... a question, you are dead. Yeah. I mean, there was uh, also that that guy who wrote the Quran. You know, like uh, he was he was paying attention what what uh, the Muhammad said, yeah, and Abdullah he was Ibn writing Sarah. down to the letter. Yeah. Abdullah Ibn Sarah. Yeah, and he said that I he used left to write for him. He went to Mecca. Yeah, he he, yeah. he said I used to write for him as I wish. Muhammad do not <laughs> even know what he want. I can show it to every Muslim. I don't know if you spoke Arabic, I can show it to you. You know, when Muhammad, he mentioned the story of Al-Hudud. You know the story of Al-Hudud? Al-Hudud, no. Al-Hudud is a bird who is very good in fighting women who have no hair in their legs and he can't see even under the ground. All right? So if you are looking <laughs> for women who have no hair in their legs, get Al-Hudud. Okay. You know, yeah, I'm going to use him to find my future wife. So in chapter 27, verse number 20, there's a bird, and this bird is the hood hood, and he is a special a special bird who fly, and he bring, a, he's like a spy, you know, like satellite at that time for Suleiman. Then we go yeah. to the tafsir. Within the tafsir, there's a person who was speaking to Ibn Abbas. Mm -hmm. Let us go there. So Ibn Abbas was telling what Muhammad told him, that this bird can see under the ground, he can see things nobody can see. I mean, this guy is as a hero. So uh, uh, a Muslim was there, and he said to him, well, if the bird, if this bird, he can do all of this, how come if a kid, he put some seed, cover it with a trap, cover it with some dirt, we catch the bird, you know? Uh -huh. How come yeah. he does not notice if he can see under the ground? Read with me carefully. This is this is Ibn Kathir, oh. and you will notice right away what how this man get terrified because he, the, Ibn Abbas he got so upset. It says here one day Ab, uh, uh, Abdullah Ibn Ab Abbas told a similar story. Among the people there was a man from Al Khawarij, uh, whose name is Nafi Ibn Al Azraq, who often used to raise objection. Do you see the word objections? Okay. okay, he used objections to Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad. He is the one who explained the Quran. He raised to him, stop Ibn Abbas. You will be defeated, which means argument. In argument today, Ibn Abbas said to him, why? Nafi, he said, you are telling me, you are telling us that the hubu can see water beneath the ground, but any boy can put seeds in a trap and can cover the trap with dirt and the, the bird will, will come and take the seed and the boy can catch the trap. Ibn Abbas, he said, if it was not for the fact that this man would go to tell others that he had defeated Ibn Abbas in argument, I would not even answer. Okay, how he answered? He started cursing the guy. He said to him, to Nafa, Oh, we, you, when the decree strike a person, his eyes become blind, he will lose all caution. The guy got scared, like, what the heck? Do you see it? So when you yeah. say, how come nobody, you know, who there? We don't know if they, if they killed him later too. I mean, this religion is stupid religion. The guy, he said, what the heck? This guy is a smart guy, obviously. What do you mean a bird he can see under the ground and you know he can see here we go a little boy he put some seed in the top of a trap covered by dirt the bird he come and we catch him the lie of muhammad okay. get busted the same as when mimi hijab he said to what his name rahman he said to him allah he says if there's a book this is not from allah you will find contradiction the guy he said to him well if this has nothing to do if it's god from god i have a yellow pages have zero contradiction <laughs> Their logic is broken. Their logic is stupid. But who did and what, the question? And what has this to do with uh, with the story of before we said you said the story of Hudud? 
with that guy, with that guy, uh, Abdullah ibn, uh, what was his name? Well, no, no, I'm showing you, when you said to me, how come at that time nobody questioned? This is why I mentioned this story for mm -hmm. you. They questioned, but who there, the guy start being cursed. Mm -hmm. And later he would repent. Like, no, forget about it. My argument is not really good, you know? But his argument is a true argument, <coughs> you know? How the bird can see under the ground, yet we can catch him, a boy can catch him with a trap, with some seeds. So he can see like 10 kilometers down the ground, but he cannot see th that there's a trap after one less than an inch of uh, 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 of dirt. You know, that is a very stupid argument. Have you have you heard the, the story of the noon? What Tabari said? Noon? Uh, noon, yeah. Well, there's many the stories. The whale. The whale, yeah. He said that noon meant the whale. Well, he said what? Like, <laughs> there is actually, I don't know, a ayah or something where it says that uh, the, about the noon, you know, noon. Yeah, and, noon. Uh, and, noon. Yeah, noon, yeah. Uh, and Tabari, I think he said that noon meant uh, the earth is created and uh, it uh, it sits or something. It's set uh, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, the earth is set in the top of a whale and the whale is yeah. the top, and the whale is in the top of a a ball and the ball in the top of a rock and the rock in the top of four thousand spring of water. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? Yeah, but this is Islam. So, my friend, you, did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? I can't leave it, you know, because um, well, you cannot. I'm just afraid of it. You know, if I, I'm, I'm being honest with you. If I leave Islam, it's just. Uh, I'm going to be atheist. So, uh, I mean, Christianity doesn't make so, sense for me. So, you, uh, I don't want to insult you, but I'm, you already saying to me, you decide to be, to accept to be a fool better than being atheist? No, I'm just, no, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just like traumatized because bef before, before, you know, like 10 years ago, I used to pray like five times and stuff. And I okay. was really traumatized about the hell, from the hellfire, you know. Hmm. And so I came to that point, actually, when I start doubting, it was like when I hear the hadith of uh, Muhammad from Abu Dhar, when he asked, uh, you know, when the sun sets hmm. and he said it sets, you know, the hadith. Um, and there I started actually to, to, to doubt because uh, I'm more like scientific man and uh, I know science is not absolute. So today, you know, we can find out something else and later something else. But uh, but we obviously know that the sun goes somewhere, but it needs like two million years to reach its own orbit and to come back, you know, mm. and not like every night. So when I told this, when I asked the Sheikh about this, he said, <clears throat> oh, no, no, this is high, but we don't know, blah, blah, blah. You know, when you say, you also say like the sun sets, but in reality, it doesn't set. I said, yeah, this is rhetorically. Yeah, maybe this is also rhetorically. I said, yeah, maybe, but prove me, prove me. Where's the argument? Yeah, this, this, this is the right, he said. So, no, they say, and yeah, he brought first me an of argument. All, first I said, of all, what's the proof actually? What's the proof yeah. actually that Muhammad is the prophet? He said, he said, uh, there is one proof, uh, for example, when he said, uh, like, we're going to win the Byzantines in a bit. No, you actually, know, like this, is, this, is, this, is, this is the opposite because Muhammad, he told the, the people of Quraysh, the Arab, that they will attack Byzantia and they will win in his time. And he failed. And he told them, stay away from the Turkish. The one who won the Byzantia is the Turkish, the enemy of Islam. For Muhammad, he claimed that they are people of Gog and Magog because they are Asian. So you will see here, Muhammad, he says, stay away from the Turkish as long as they stay away from you. Oh. And Muhammad, yeah, but it happened. It happened what he said. We, you know, no, it's not that. what he said. What he said yeah. is that the Arab they will take over, not the Turkish. You know. Well, but in yeah, in Hadith, but in Quran it said like like uh, the room will will lose in in a bit. You know, like no, no, no. Even even, even that Hadith, like, even that Hadith, you got it wrong, my friend. That verse. No, the, Quran, the Hadith is the Quran. Yeah, the Quran. It says, even that one came it's after. It's the, this, this one came after he become the Roma became victorious. Read with me here. Really? Let, yeah. Let me show you. No way. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, this is the Hadith in front of you, and it's Sahih. It says. Yes, sir, what, uh, let me show you in the screen. The prophet, somebody dies. Maybe in some prophet, and probably was the. Abu Sa'ad narrated 
on the day of Badr, the Roman had victory over the Persian. Already they are victorious. So the believers were pleased with that. Then the following ver verse ver was revealed. Alif Lam Mim, the Roman has been defeated. Up to his saying, the believers will <coughs> rejoice. You see it? The Romans have been defeated up to saying the believers will rejoice, will help of Allah. So where is the prophecy? It had, he gave the verse after the Wait, victory. but the Persians were at that time not Muslims. <clears throat> it doesn't so matter, it doesn't matter. We are talking about the, the timing. He said they will win, right? Supposedly they will win, as Muslims they claim. But as you say, they will win. Already they won. Secondly, if we go with the oldest statement without this hadith, you will find that there is more than almost almost 15, 16 years, still the Roman are not done after he made that verse in the Quran. Why? Because you see the victory is not when you win, you take over a city, is when you finish the war, right? Because war well, is... Well, okay, I yeah, yeah, but... I attack but you, still, you attack still. me, I take a city from you, you take a city from me. This is not win, this is temporarily win. The real winning is who is the one who won yeah, the war. Yeah, but he said it will, it will win, you know, they will win. Yeah, so. okay, but but even the date is wrong because he said the word Bada. Bada, it have to be between three to nine years, maximum. Years, yeah. yeah, so even that yeah, one is false. No, it not happened. Go right now, you can go even to Prophet Wakabidia, and you will see when uh, 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 it says here the day of Badr, check it out and then see when the last fight between the Roman and the Persian happened and you will see that this is way more than 10 years did not happen really oh yeah more than 10 years anyway you can read my book you know about it I have deception of Allah and Quran and science you can read I have details about them anyway my friend so as long as you decide to leave Islam so I have no business with you and you don't want to be Christian it's up to you anything else you like yeah. me to help you with no, 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 no. I just, um, yeah, I, oh, yeah. One just a little question. Do you think that Muhammad had epilepsy? You know, there's actually this. Well, I don't know. Abdul Muhammad, he had. Obviously, he's, obviously, I can confirm that he is. You know, he had mental illness, because the Hadith and the Quran confirm that. You know, the Hadith it says that the Prophet he imagined himself doing things, and he never did that. So obviously, this is a sign of mental illness. The Muslim they claim that this is bewitching, but this is old days when somebody he suffered from such such a thing. They say he's bewitched because he looked fine as a body, as a physical body, but when he act, he act weird, so they call it bewitched. Uh, other other proof too, Muhammad, he tried to commit suicide many times, and this is not an act of somebody, he claimed to be a prophet, go to the yeah, top well, of the mountain. Yeah, well, okay, he did to, to kill himself before, you know, like, like after he, he just... Uh became prophet like like yes. in the in the beginning because yeah. he didn't know you can say okay he was really no just no no you, you don't go uh, let us say an angel came to me he spoke to me once twice three times and then the angel stopped coming so i want to kill myself this is stupid you know obviously this is not this is not a, a stable man the satanic verses so this also made me doubt like the satanic Quranic, verses, like, sat satanic but, verses shaitan he gave him verses when the quran says that you have no authority over my good servant so in order for shaitan to give Muhammad satanic verses, Muhammad then he have to be satanic. Is it true that the verses were like for eight years on it, and then we, after, uh, after uh, eight uh, years, Muslims it... they have Muslims they have tons of stories, but who care? It's for one day, one second, or one year. Still, Muhammad oh, like eight years. Listen, if you, if this is true, really, that they were like eight years, my friend. If it's, if it's it, eight, if then it's, I will really leave, no, no. leave Islam. Like, if it is eight because... minutes, if it's eight minutes, that means Shaitan he can give Muhammad satanic verses so and if if muhammad he claimed that allah gave him ever saying allah will delete the satanic verses how we know now that this verse is not coming from satan himself do you understand yeah, yeah, yeah. as long yeah, as the one as long as long the one who made the first verse is satan why yeah. the satan cannot make a verse says don't worry i will take whatever satan he throw there you know it's always the same yeah. Anyway, my friend, thank you very much. And I'm happy All to tell right. you that you are out of the garbage of Muhammad and I wish you a good luck. Thank you. you Take, too. Care. Bye -bye. Take care. Do we have any other Muslim? We have one more actually. Let's see. He is so excited. Let us see this, Abdul. Hello? Yes, my friend, you are a Muslim? Yes. You're very excited to call me. You call me like a hundred times. 
Yeah, my friend, uh, when you were discussing about the contradictions about the heavens and the earth, like, you were lying so much, man. Okay, like, how, why? Uh, tell me how I'm lying. Okay, uh, explain the contradiction so I can answer. Let us go back to zero. Which one Allah created first? The, the sky, the, st the stars, or the mountain? The stars or the mountain? Mm -hmm. uh, my friend, you... Uh, you do realize that some stars are young and some stars are old. I don't care old. about. I'm talking about the sun specifically. The, the sun? Yeah, the sun is a star, isn't it? Yeah, but it's different. The Quran says the sun and the stars. Oh, the Quran says the sun. Where, where the Quran says the sun and the stars? Now I have to search it up, my, my friend. When the so Quran says. So you don't know what you are talking about. Okay, let's focus no, again. No, no. So, which one Allah created <laughs> first, the mountains or the sun and the stars? Uh, which well, one? When Allah He said, I he, he created the stars, He mean all the stars, all the stars He created them. Okay, so no, 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 my friend, I can say that about the Bible as well. You can say That's it, no, no problem, no problem. But okay, but let me ask, uh, He He created the uh, uh, mountains first. Okay, and, yes. then, and then He created the stars. Are you talking about the sun? Well, is the sun is a star? What's wrong with you? Nope, no problem, but the sun is the uh, star that sh sh shines on the earth. It's okay. different. Okay, which day Allah created the sun? Uh, if I'm correct, according to Muhammad, the fourth day. Fourth day, okay. Yeah. So... Or, or sorry, or fifth, sorry. No, it is, uh, it's, it is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Let us okay, read this how you me... together, okay? No problem. Let us read this how you together so we can laugh. This is your prophet reading, talking. Read for us. Tell me what it says. Okay, let me read. Can you hear YouTube? Uh, no, I don't hear anything. It's okay. Okay. Just be sure it's muted anyway. Okay, Allah created the earth on Saturday, mountains on Sunday, trees on Monday, hmm. uh, and anything else on Tuesday, and light on Wednesday. Yeah, he created the, the light, the meaning the sun, on the okay. fifth day. Okay. So, is the sun here, according to his hadith, is it created before Allah? He created uh, the animals, and then he created Adam. It doesn't say before he created animals, it just says he spread it out. This is also what the... So where are the animals we were, like in his pocket? This is also what the uh, Genesis says, that uh -huh. he spread out the animals. Okay. On the, on the, on the sixth or fifth day, if I'm correct. Oh, uh, okay. Let, let, focus with me here. You know, it, yeah. it, it says here that Allah created the trees, created the earth in Saturday. So what is the first working day for Allah? Uh, can you repeat that? What is the first working day for Allah? Is it Saturday? Yes. Okay. What is the second working day? Is Sunday, correct? Yes. Okay. He made the mountain, the mountains, all the mountains in Sunday, correct? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. And then it says he created the light on when is uh, it correct? Trees. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, so, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but you forget trees. He created the trees before light. No problem. We are, we are like, yeah. Okay. So now let us, let us make it clear. According to this, the, yeah. the light was created after the trees and after the mountains, right? Yes. Okay. The, the, the sun, the sun. The sun, created. the sun. Okay. Yeah. Here, in yeah. front of us, it says that Allah created all the heavens and he created all the lights. Let me Ch see. Chapter, you know, chapter, uh, chapter 2, verse number 29, Allah created the earth and then he created the seven heavens and he worked in them. So this is in total agreement with the hadith. No problem. Yeah. We go to the front uh, verse in the Quran. Mm. It says here. Let us go on a second. So Allah finished working in the earth first, correct? We agree in the hadith. No, no, no. He, he created the universe first. Oh, he finished the earth first. 
No, my friend, he 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 first created uh, the heaven. No, my friend, then read, read carefully, read carefully, read carefully. You see, Muslims have a very short memory. They don't remember what they said two minutes ago. I mm. asked you, what is the first thing Allah he did? You said the earth, Saturday, yes. correct? I said, what is the first work yes. in day? I said to you, what is the first? Did I say the first work in day? And you said Saturday? Oh, uh, my, but this is talking about the earth. Okay, but is the first working day is Saturday? No, no, no. He created the uh, heaven before. Where? In uh, chapter 2, verse 29 also. It okay. says that. Okay. The verse you just quoted. Can you go back? All right. But hold on, my friend. Mm. Allah, I, when I ask you what is the first working day, you say to me Saturday. Correct? Yeah, about the earth, yes. Okay. No, it's not about the earth. The first working day is the first working day. It doesn't matter what he's creating. But it doesn't say first working day. <laughs> it, it, it says he started by order. Did Allah, did Muhammad start by order? No, but the uh, the gap between the age of the universe and the earth is is very big. This is not a question now. Who cares what age? Is Muhammad, is, he's, he's talking about six days, not six millions, six billions. It's six, six days. Even he named him Saturday and Sunday. What gay? What gay? Okay. My friend, okay. my friend, focus with me. So, what is the first working day? I will go from zero. What is the first working day for Allah? Is it Saturday? No. What it is then? Allah Alam. Hmm. That's a good answer. Allah Alam. Allah knows best. But why yeah, your prophet? Can... So, why your prophet saying, Allah hmm. He created. The earth in Saturday. Why he chose Saturday if it's not the working day? Is it Allah? He chose a Friday to be his day. And this he is Saturday. Adam. So Friday is off day. Allah is taking a vacation, you know, in the pool. And now it's Saturday. This is the first day after, after Friday. So this is the first day uh, of the week. Go to chapter 79, verse 27 to 30. You will see. Chapter 79, verse what? what? 79. Okay, what verse? Uh, verse 27 to 30, if I'm correct. Okay, what it says? It says he created the earth and then he started creating the heaven. Uh, he, 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 he started creating the heaven, then he started creating the earth. Okay, and? So he created the heaven first, before the earth. Which day? My friend, I said God knows only. Mm. So your prophet, he when he said, "Okay, let us go with this." We but, but, but but we will go with this. But, we will go with this. Oh, but hold on, hold on. But that okay. hadith... when when Allah created the light, we agree it is Wednesday, correct? Yes. Is the light is the sun and whatever light is the source of the earth light? Well, it says he brought out the day and he brought out the night before he created the earth, but. Isn't this what Genesis says that he created don't, don't first go, the light no, and then? We are trying to study the Quran. Don't go to Genesis. We can go to a different topic. So now, when Allah He created the earth, He yeah. created before the heaven or after the heaven? After. So how you explain chapter two then? Chapter two says Allah created everything in earth, and then mm -hmm. He went to the heaven, and He made it seven skies, and the sky was a smoke. Was the sky smoke? Yeah, but you're, uh, you think when Allah says it was smoke, you think that it was still in creation when this is not the case because no. scientists okay. say that. Okay, can we go and see what no. smoke means? Well, don't tell me scientists, what scientists? No, no, wait, I'm going to explain. Scientists say that after the Big Bang, the universe was in a state of nebula for uh, billions of years, which is no. smoke. Is that Saturday or Sunday? Or being with you. <laughs> what do you I mean? mean? I mean, you Muslims are funny. Your prophet saying Saturday, Sunday, and he created Adam Friday afternoon, and then you say to us a billions of years. But the, the Bible does it well. The Bible says six. Day. The Bible says six, six days. It doesn't say billions of years. We follow the Bible. We don't follow. If this, you see the Muslims, the hypocrisy of the Muslims. They, <laughs> they manipulate the religion to make it fit with science. For me, the Bible says six days. I'm going mm. to say six days. I can say six billion years. This is what the Bible says. Either you are a believer or you are a fake believer. So Muslims are fake believers. So listen, 
when you say when you say Allah he created the, the heaven before the earth correct yeah okay yes and we have a verse in the Quran saying that Allah created everything in earth and yeah. then he made the seven heaven the heaven seven heaven do you agree with that I think you are confused because what it actually says, it says he went to the heaven. So the heaven was already in existence before the earth. No problem. And then it says he, mm -hmm. uh, he, he it says he fashioned the heaven into seven heavens. So okay, he no made problem. this big. No problem. He, so it, which, it, it doesn't which say. Work, it doesn't, okay, let us make it simple. Which work finished first? It doesn't, it doesn't say he created six my other friend, heavens. He made friend. this. Oh, listen carefully. Which work is finished first? The work in the earth or the work in the heaven? Just to make it simple. In the heaven. In the heaven. Is no, no, wait. What? No, wait. The heaven was created first, then he created the earth, and then he started uh, fashioning the heaven. Okay. Into, so the last uh, work, seven layers. So the last work Allah he did, it was the heaven. Do we agree on that? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I hope you will not do the same as the other Abdul later. Okay. So the last thing Allah he did, he go, he went back to the heaven to finish the heaven. We agree. Yes. You promise me. Yes. Okay. The last thing Allah he finished work on it was the heaven. They can note people. Let yes. us go. All right. Let us go to the Quran. Chapter 79, it says that Allah He created the heaven and He constructed the heaven. Mm -hmm. And now He raised up to heaven. And now He yes. made the day and the night. Yeah, but you are confusing. It's it's an agreement with the verse uh, you showed. Wait, wait, how we see, we see. Okay, I just ask you which one Allah, the last thing he finished, you said it but, was the heaven. But you also asked me what is the first thing he created? I said heaven. Uh, my friend, my friend. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, but, but I asked you, but I asked you, did Allah, okay, did Allah go back to the earth after he finished the earth? The verse chapter two, it says clearly, he finished everything in the earth. And then he yeah. went to the sky and he made them seven skies. Do we agree with that? He he fashioned the heaven into seven heavens. Okay, yeah, so the yeah, last I thing agree. he did, the last thing he did is the seven sky. The the last thing he did is he made the universe into seven parts. It it, okay, it doesn't mean that so they the were. Did he go back? It doesn't to the mean. Earth? Okay, after he made the universe seven heaven, did he go back to the earth? No. Okay, this is what we are saying. Focus with me. So now the whole earth is done. When Allah, he went up to the heaven, he will not come back again. Do I agree? Yes. Okay, finally. Here. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, what? Can, can, you, can, you, can, you, can you repeat the last question? Focus with me. When Allah, he finished the seven heaven, did Allah went back to the earth to do anything? Like maybe he forgot... No, no. A faucet is no, not no, fixed. He, didn't. he did not. No, so no. that's it. Allah now created everything in the earth. He went to the heaven to finish what he started. And now he yeah. finished the heaven. And he did not yeah. come back to earth, correct? But, but Yes, but my friend, when it says he went towards the heaven, the heaven was already constructed. No problem. Uh, but he, perfectly. But he did not like the, the verse heaven, says. But he did not finish the heaven yet, correct? But there's no contradiction. Because oh, the verse in the 79 friend, says... Focus one by one. So now, Allah, he went to the, the, the heaven to make them seven heaven after he finished everything in the earth. He did not come back to the earth. Do we agree? Yes. Okay. Let us go to a different verse here. You will see Allah is coming back to the earth. Here Allah, he con constructed the heaven. Then Allah, he raised up the heaven in all equal order. And then he made the day and the night... And after that, he started walking in the earth. He made it flat. And after that, he brought water. And after that, he made the mountains. Yeah, but the the verse in, it says he, he he constructed the heaven. It doesn't say he he made the heaven into seven heavens and then he created started creating on the earth. No, it says because simply the other verse in the Quran it says it clearly that Allah he. The, the heaven at that moment it was a it was a smoke you yeah, but you, you don't know what the smoke you, you you don't know what the smoke is referring to yeah the smoke was referring to that allah was cooking in the earth and then the smoke came from the earth no 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 you're quoting from ibn kathir but it's wrong so ibn it's, kathir, it's, it's, it's so not ibn, correct so ibn kathir is a donkey 
No, no, scholars can be wrong sometimes because ah, it says so, the heaven was. So, uh, it says the heaven can was. You, can you be wrong too, or you are a better scholar? But Allah says the heaven was smoke, not okay, the earth. The heaven. The, the heaven was a smoke. Exactly. Yeah. That means there was nothing in smoke. No, no, this is the nebula, my friend. Okay. It's what okay, science, the nebula, scientists the say. The nebula, guys, it's the nebula. What we can say now, the nebula. Okay. So listen carefully. The heaven. Allah, He the went heaven was, up yeah. to heaven. Allah, He went up to heaven. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Allah was where when before He went up to heaven? On the earth. So why you Muslim, you lie to us, you say Allah cannot be inside his creation? Oh, I, no, 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 my friend. Allah cannot be inside his creation. But isn't it the earth is a creation? Yeah, but... I just asked you depends. where Allah... I just asked you where Allah was, you said in the earth. Yeah, but not literally. So what, what does that mean? He sent his testicle there, he did not go there? A second no, ago, I friend. asked you... A second ago, I asked you... Where Allah was before He went up to heaven, you said in the earth. But why are you changing topics? You are not just showing you how Muslim they play games. Let us continue. Then Allah He rose up. That's mean Allah still is going to be inside His creation because you said to me this is the nebula. So Allah now is going inside the nebula. Wonderful. And then the nebula, which was a smoke according to you, the nebula, and He said to the earth and to the to the nebula. Come willingly or unwillingly, which is a very stupid statement. And then he says, and then he made them seven heaven. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Is it true that Allah created seven earth and seven heaven? Uh, yes, correct. Okay. The earth which we live in is located where? In the lowest heaven. In the lowest heaven? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, Allah says He created the stars in the lowest heaven, and the stars yeah, but, are around the, us. Uh, is the earth is a star? No, but the stars are around us, so we must be in the lowest heaven. Ah, okay. And uh, according to the nebula, is that true that there is only in the lowest nebula, there is only the nebula, there is only stars? In the lowest Can you, uh, you, see, when you, can you repeat them, that? When you Muslim, you use uh, scientific terms, you play with them as you wish. You said to me that the sky mean, the smoke mean, the nebula. And then Allah, he divided that nebula to seven sky, correct? But it cannot be, uh, let's say, there's no other explanation. Because when it says smoke, it cannot be uh, possible that it was in creation. Because Allah says in another, in another verse that he constructed the heaven. So it, it, sh it shouldn't have been a creation. The creation was done with the heaven. But he created the, the stars at the end, right? The stars? Yeah. yeah. The, the last thing he created is the stars. Yeah, sure. Okay. So at least we have an agreement. Now, the last thing Allah created is the stars. Let us go back to the verses. Here it says that in chapter 79, verse number 28, Allah, after he raised the sky up and he made the day and the night, that's mean the mountain, sorry, the, 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 the day and the night are created, which mean sun and darkness. Correct? Do you agree? Uh, let me see the verse, hold on. Verse 79, 29. Yeah, what does it say? Allah, he made its night and he covered it with darkness and it, and for noon is, is bright out with light. Yeah. Okay, so Allah, he created now the, the, the moon and the stars, correct? No, no, this is not referring to the stars. This is like when in Genesis, God said, let okay. there be light. No, the, in Genesis, the first thing God, he said, the first thing, let be light, not after the end, of, the end of the movie. Here, this is the end of the movie. No, yeah. it's, it's, my friend, it's right before he started my, creating the earth. He's right before what? It's right before he cre started creating the earth, because it says then after that, he spread the earth and he okay. started like creating Aren't the earth. Aren't you the one who said to me, that you agree with the hadith which your prophet he said and Allah he created the light in Wednesday but that's referring to the sun okay thank you guys this is referring to the sun so which day the sun was created it was Wednesday correct yes okay so earth was finished and then the sun was finished after or created after the earth do we agree uh, yes okay 
Now, what's wrong with you? How come you didn't see it? It's in the front of you, it's saying that Allah, after he finished everything in the earth, in one verse, and in the other verse, it says the opposite. Verse number 29, Allah, he made the day and the night. And after that, he spread the earth, made it flat. And after that, he brought the water. And after that, he made the mountains. Because do you know what a six day creation is referring to? It is not talking about the uh, when he created the heaven first. It is talking about when he created the earth and then care. when he fashioned the heaven. We agree that the sun was created in Wednesday. And you agree that the sun was the last thing is created. No, what did, what did, I, say? What did I say last thing? I ask you, is the sun created before or after? You said after. No, but Allah says in the Quran. Okay, let's repeat the question after. again. Did Allah create the sun before the mountains or after the mountains? I'm going to answer. Allah says he created the earth and everything on the earth in four days. And then after that, he fashioned the heaven into seven heaven in two days. So that's six. This is another question. Th this is. The, no, the sun friend, is not listen, part listen of the six day creation. Listen carefully. You are terrified to answer because, you know, whatever you say is going to be used against you. So... Was it the mountain created before the sun or the sun created before the mountains? The sun is created uh, after the mountains. Exactly. Remember yes. that because after two minutes you will say I did not say that. So the sun is created after the mountain. The verse in the front of yes. us it says the opposite. Allah created the sun, the moon. He organized the sky. This is why he says, Do you, no, want me to, do you want me to read the interpretation for you? You will say to me the interpretation is made by a No, but this is the same in the Bible. This is the same in the Bible. to me in the Bible. No, it's not the same. And don't change the topic. Does it say the Bible here, says the same. No. The, wait, but, but the Bible says, let there be uh, God created the but sun in the, the fourth day. God created. This is the first thing. God said, let be light. Let be light. Let in the Quran, it says too, right before he created before the earth. Before he created anything, here you agreed with me. What's wrong with you? You agreed with me. This is the last thing Allah He made. So don't tell me it's the same as in the Bible. Focus. It's the same. No. <laughs> in the Bible, God He said that be light before He created anything. Where, bro? My friend, it says he, cre he He brought out the light before He created the earth. It says that. Did he said let be light. No, but it says he brought out the day and the light. Okay, you see, the, now you don't want to talk about the Bible no more. Abdul, focus with me. Here it says that Allah, he brought, the, he made the darkness, he covered the darkness with the, with the, with the light. What light is that? Let, let, there be, uh, let there be light. It's the same what thing in the Bible. What light is that? What light? I ask you. Allah, uh, Allah after Allah. he finished, listen, Abdul. Did Allah, he went back to the earth to finish everything after he finished everything in the sky? You said no, correct? Now, you hang up. Eh, potatoes. You see how they love to lie? And their scholars agree this is about making the sun and the day. All their scholars. And then he says to me, this is the same as the Bible. No, it's not the same as the Bible. That is a lie. God in the Bible, before he created the sun, he said, let be light. And there's a video of the dad is making fun of it. <laughs> and then we find that Muhammad is the one who believed that the sun is created on Wednesday. If you go to the book of Genesis, chapter number one, you can go and read verse number three and two and one. Muslims are hypocrite. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So where is heaven? And there is earth. 
and God then he led. He did not say he created the uh, uh, the trees and etc. Here is it, there's nothing yet. Nothing. There's heaven. Let be earth. Let be heaven. Then let be light. Do we have any brave Muslim who will not retreat and his tail between his legs? Anyone? Any brave Muslim, he will not retreat like all those Muslims. Isn't it obvious how stupid this religion is? The women she have a semen, according to the previous caller. Knowledge, what you can say. Only in Islam. And her semen is coming from her ribs. And the man have a semen coming from the backbone. And the sun set in a murky water. And the semen of the man, he live inside the man, for, for uh, inside the women, for 40 days. And then the Muslim, they speak about nubla. The Quran says, Six days in one verse, eight days in a different verse. The Muslim, they say millions of years. Hypocrisy, fallacy, following a baby, sexual predator. Do we have any Muslim is willing to give us a call and show us, forget about everything we said. We can open zero new topic. Any Muslim can show us one, one thing. Muhammad, he said, is not stupid. Just one thing. Anything of your choice. Just give me one thing. Muhammad, he said, is not stupid. Is that possible? I say it's impossible. Anyone? Nobody? I take calls only from Muslims. Don't try to call me if you are not a Muslim, please. Any Abdul? Any Abdul? Who is this person? Hey, how you doing? Are you a Muslim? Hello? Yes. Hi, how are you? You are a Muslim. No, no, no. I'm not a Muslim. I, I, I usually, uh, I'm a Catholic, but, uh, I, I love what you do. Uh, you know, that you, um, my friend, did you hear me? How many times I said only Muslims can call me? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to check something because I, I don't know how to, you know, I don't okay, read give Arabic. Me, give me a question. Okay, so the, when I usually debate Muslims, I say this one thing to them that I can't find it in the Quran, but so I usually say there was a verse in the Quran that I heard that uh, one of Muhammad's followers went to Muhammad and said, I need you to take away my sin. And Muhammad's answer was, I cannot take away your sin because I also have sin. And then he goes on to say that only uh, two people haven't been touched by Satan, the Blessed Mother and Jesus. So that's important because if, he, if the, the Quran is saying he has no sin, means he can't lie. If he can't lie, Jesus says, you know, I am the Son of God and I can forgive sin. 
but I don't know where that verse is because they usually say, well, where does it say that? No, first of all, Muhammad is a, is a sinner. Right. And, yeah. Uh, so, and Allah, he wish, he asked he ask other Allah uh, to forgive his sin. You know, he is making a wish. Chapter 48, verse number two. It says that Allah may forgive your sin in the past and the future to come. So the Quran confirmed that he is a sinner. In the same time, uh, Satan, everyone is born. Satan, he touch him in his, uh, supposedly in his uh, belly bomb area, you know. Uh, except Jesus and his mother. And why his mother? Because simply because of Jesus. Uh, and obviously so, Jesus... So, so I'm correct when I say that, but... Yes, you are right. Yeah. Uh, so do you know where that verse is? Uh, can you can you can you message uh, this me? Is, this is not this is not a, this is not a verse. Uh, uh, this is a hadith. I will show it to you on the screen. I will put it for you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you very much. And guys, don't call me please unless you are a Muslim. Okay. Right? Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Uh, let us go to the hadith. And you know, when the Muslims they say, well, if Muhammad is against Jesus, how come he say all those things? Well, Muhammad is a liar, the same as Jehovah's Witnesses. They come to your door trying to fool you. They bring a book, it's called the Bible. It's almost have the same, almost the same translation. Few words destroy everything. You open the book of John, verse number one, chapter one. It says a God just added one letter. A God. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that the Messiah is an angel. They will say to you, We believe he's a son of God. But at the same time, they believe that the Son God is an angel. Muhammad is no different. In order to fool you, uh, He have to add his poison in the dish where your food, where, where your mouth go. If somebody want to kill somebody, he don't put the poison in the twilight seat. He put it in the favorite dish. This is the hadith you asked me for, my friend. It's in front of you on the screen, and this is Sahih al Bukhari hadith number four five four eight. And please, next time, don't text me. Don't call me. Here we only talk to Muslims. And I will post the hadith in this chat so everybody have it, not only you. And by the way, we do not need Muhammad to tell us about Jesus because this person never witnessed Jesus, never saw Jesus, and he know nothing about Jesus. He doesn't even know what the Trinity is. Have you ever heard of a prophet he sent by God? He do not know even what the Christians believe? Muhammad, he thinks the Trinity is Mary and Jesus and Allah. First, we don't believe in Allah. He's a pagan God. Secondly, we do not believe that Jesus is the Father. The Trinity is not believing that the Messiah is the Father. That's not what the Trinity is. If you go to the stupid Quran, you will see that Muhammad, he made that clear. That the Christian, they say that the Messiah is Allah. But we don't believe that the Messiah is the Father, never. He's not. When a Christian they say we believe in one God, does not mean we believe in one person. Muhammad is a fool. Surely disbelief those who say that Allah is the Messiah. Well, if Allah is the Messiah, who is the second person? Who is the third person? And where is the Trinity? Do we have any Abdul here? So guys, our video become long and we have many callers. So I advise you, those who download my videos, to cut them pieces, especially the one in the beginning. I want the start of the videos to be published everywhere that the Muslims approve and they believe that Jesus, he knew the day of judgment as we showed you from the Quran. 
and we showed you the videos of the Muhammadan. Let me refresh your memory about that. The Muhammadan, now they are fighting. Why? Because they discovered that the Quran saying it clearly that Jesus the Christ, he knew the hour, he knew the judgment day and the hour. And why they do not know notice that before? Because simply somebody tempered the Quran, somebody played with the Quran. Around 40 to 50 minutes, and you will hear him say, according to his misunderstanding of an ayah in the Quran, Surah number 43, ayah number 61, Wa innahu la ilmun lisa'a, according to his misunderstanding, where he believes that if you recite it like that, it would mean that Isa alayhi salam has the knowledge of the hour. He says that that word la ilmun, the way it's written, is what he says is transparently false. So this one is transparently transparent. It is transparently false. The Muslims simply, they changed the Quran, they fabricate a new Quran, they added letters or words, or they change even the pronunciation to cover up that Jesus, he knew the hour. And as you see, this is a big sheikh, very well known in Pakistan. He support terrorists. He teach terrorists. And he loved terrorism. So why he will say what he is saying? Why he will say what he is saying? That somebody played with the Quran. Put ilmun instead of alam. Ain kisra. A page. So they make it. Wa innahu la ilmun lisa'a. So someone did some, you know, dalme kuch kalahe. Someone did that with these diacritical marks. And this is wrong. I'm saying that human beings, when they put in the diacritical marks, made a mistake here. Maybe it was done deliberately, maybe it was done accidentally. Maybe, maybe, we don't care how it may be. What we care for, it is done. The Messiah, he know the hour according to the Quran. Very simple, very clear, from the mouth of the biggest sheikh. So I would like to see people copying the video, cutting the first part where we speak about this topic, and then you can cut the parts of Ivri Abdul calling me one by one. Let the whole world enjoy our, you know, talk to the Muhammadan. Now, did we learn something good today, guys? Don't forget to subscribe. And if you are not receiving notification from YouTube, because obviously YouTube suppress our work, uh, you can always subscribe to our Patreon, and you will receive notification from Patreon immediately as soon as I post that I'm going to go live. Remember, I go live every day. We have two fixed days, Sunday and Friday. We, we decide to make a fixed day. Sunday morning, 10, 10, 30 New York time, and Friday morning, 10, 10, 30 New York time, which means maybe 10, maybe 10, 30, something like that. And that is a fixed date. But as you see, during the week, I might come like online many times, but I don't give a fixed date, all right? So subscribe if you like what we do. And as you see, we make Muslims leave Islam left and right. All those Muslims who call today, who try to deny what we are showing them, they retreat with shame. And then those who watch the videos from the Muslims, they will leave Islam guaranteed because we are not lying. It's obvious. It's in the front of your eyes. And you can check everything we say by yourself. Everything we say, you can check it by yourself. So I hope today we have, at least we have one person who decided to leave Islam. We have, we have thousands and thousands of Muslims decide to leave this mad, stupid cult. And Yellow Pages is way worse than the Quran. It's a book of stupidity made by a stupid man. And only stupid men will believe in it. And if you don't agree with me for saying the word stupid, will you tell me what do you think about a person who think that there is a God? If you bow down to him, he will give you a lot of women with big vagina. And women, they have big boobs. And his penis will become endless. Isn't it, this is alone is a proof that this is a stupid religion? I mean, it's not even convincing to a dog 
if you bring a dog and tell him, hey, listen, I am going to give you a vagina. The dog, I don't know. I mean, he, he wants to eat. He'll give him some beef, some meat. He will say, show me. You will not convince a dog to go and die for you because you promise him a vagina. 72 vagina at least. Just go and die for me. And when we are going to get paid? Later, later, brother. Okay, why you don't go yourself, Muhammad, and die for Allah so you can get all the vagina? You will notice that all the sheikhs who they encourage Muslims to go and do jihad, they don't go themselves. Like Osama bin Laden. Don't you want to get the vagina too? When a prophet, he speak, claiming that, he explained even how you will F each other in heaven. Excuse my language. What kind of a prophet this prophet is? And then when we check the prophecy of this prophet, we die laughing. We do not know how the baby is made. Where the sun set. He found where the sun rising. He found that hail come from mountains in heaven. Which is really a good discovery. Because who knows that save Allah? If Allah is not God, how he knew? that there is mountains in heaven. And he break hail from it. That's amazing. This is can come only from the true God. And then the Muhammadan, they make tons of videos about scientific, amazing discovery in the Quran. And the second you start reading, you will see how dummy, how stupid this religion is. And in order to fix the stupidity, you will find the Muslims, they try to change the translation. So they add like mountains. But the verse, there's no like mountains. It says from mountains in heaven, you change the translator, hoping that the other translator will be more honest. Or this is a scam. I mean, it's a simple thing where Hail is coming from. He sent down hailstones from mountains in the sky. Now we know where the stones, the ice, the hail is coming from. Uh, all right. You know, you remember the, the person from uh, from the Philippines, the one who have a debate with the Mohammedan, and then the Mohammedan, they get him inside the jail and they beat him up, and now he is sentenced for 10 years. Do you see how coward this religion is? Do you see how they can maintain their religion? 10 years. And he said nothing, just because he said Islam is wrong. So we have our friend here, he want to talk about uh, this person. I will give him a chance. He said yeah, there's, a, there's a message from him, I don't know. He's not answering. His name is Muhammad KC. KC. He was sentenced to jail for 10 years in Indonesia. What a coward religion. They think if they put one person in jail, we will get scared. Cowards. They could not refute the guy, they sent him to jail and they tried to kill him. And you know, 
my books is published in all languages around the world. So even if I get killed one day, that will boost my books. I will die anyway. You know, people who they are, they are afraid for their life. They have no life. The one who is afraid of germs, he die by germs. He will have a phobia. We enjoy life when we enjoy saying the truth. A person who don't dare to say the truth, he is dead already. So we expose Islam, and as you see, no Muslim can refute us, and the only way for them is to play games, and their games doesn't work. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. Let us see how many new people we have today here. Give me one, please, if you are new. If you are here for the first time. If you are here for the first time, give me one, please. The Sheikh who promised to debate me, obviously they watch some of my videos and they decide to say bye-bye. This is what happened to Shabir Ali. He bought my books, he decided not to debate me. You know, he knew what would happen. Okay, let us see how many people there are new. There are some cheaters there saying new they are there. Well, if you are new here first time, I feel sorry for you because you will be addicted. And you are going to be stuck with us. It will keep coming. So I advise you, watch it this time and don't come again. Because trust me, you will be addicted. What we do here is better than any comedy TV. We die laughing at Allah. Literally. I warn you, you will gain weight because you will laugh a lot. You will live longer because you are laughing. And maybe, disclaimer, you might have heart attack from laughing. So I advise you, it was one time mistake, don't come here again. Otherwise, you will be really addicted. And you will hear every day the most fairy tale funny story ever. And the fairy tale stories of Muhammad, all of them, we cut their tail. Just for the memory remember it so we have his tails would not without the fairy tale without the tail so i want to say thank you guys for being here this is your brother christian prince was serving you humbly for today i don't know if i'm going to go live tomorrow but as you know for sure friday and saturday but maybe tomorrow too we don't know god is willing all right thank you all may the lord bless you our victory is the messiah and Islam is defeated. It's a stupid, foolish religion made by a stupid man who do not even remember if he had sex or not. Even his sex was imaginary. A person he flee when he is doing poopoo because an angel come to him during the poopoo. For obviously the message was a poopoo message. The poopoo message cannot be cleaned. You cannot clean it. It doesn't matter how much detergent Muslims you try to use. All the fabrication you do, make in YouTube, scientific discovery in the Quran, we laugh at it. And we expose it with no mercy. Thank you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam. We prove it every day. Take care. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Oh, yeah, the people yeah. of Mecca were pagan. The Quran extension is to speak with him other than God. They would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that were inerrant. I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs are haram. So how can we have haram? 
Let me tell you, brother, about him. But having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has always been that the devil is a Satan or the devil sleeps over our Muslims. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. And really do think Jesus was crucified. <laughs> and they really were dead and buried. He, he thought that he was the son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 